to Ben Cost Mattressing. Um, managed to jump on a little, little, well, a little cup match really at uh, Timberlands. Um, nothing else in the diary, so uh, Darren said, "Do I fancy it?" And I thought, "Yeah, why not?" Um, I've drawn peg ten, which is the end of the straight bank. So I'm right at the end, and then it goes around the corner to 15 and 16 which is where I was last week so I'm right around the other side basically um, let's, let's talk about the plan for the day uh, I'm gonna keep it simple as simple can be um, I've got some expanders and I've got some six mil hard pellet and I've got some bread that is it um, if I'm struggling I will chuck the method across but if I'm honest I've got quite a lot of room here on the pole so I've put a line in here a line in here and a line in here so one two three three lines um, for me pole lines I've set up two rigs for the pellets I've set up one 4b14s with a carbon stem this time that's with a spread bulk just above the hook length that's on 017 mainline, 013 bottom, and a 16 SLWG. And that's a spread bulk for fishing pellets. Obviously hard on the bottom, but with a spread bulk, obviously lift drop, lift drop. I've set up the same float again, but this time, if I can uh, get me rig, this time it's a 412s, again a carbon pattern, but I've set, set it up where I've spread the shots out the whole way. So a bit more sort of fluttery. Again, an S a 16 SLWG, the same main line, same hook length, but um, just a little bit more through the water. I've set that up sort of down the edge there, sort of, say down the edge, sort of in three foot. So I've got three foot there and I've got five foot in front of me. Um, I've then set up a bread rig. So all the shots pushed up underneath the float. And then I've got two number 11 spread out down the line. And I'm just going to be flicking that, sort of flicking that around, sort of down the edge there, as long as I can get it there and see what the, what's going on. It's, it has fished hard the last couple of weeks. I mean, there was some very, very poor weights on here yesterday. Um, but I'm just going to literally just dob around with bread to start with and see what happens. I will uh, thank you for subscribing, by the way, everybody. Uh, channel's coming along great. Hope you're enjoying the uploads, etc., etc. Um, and what I'll do is I'll check in throughout the day and let you know how we get on. Have a good day, guys. I thought it was time for a little update. It's 20 past 12. Um, started long on pellet, well, started long on bread, just uh, dobbing around on bread as long as I can go. Sort of 16 and a half metres. I tried sort of in front of me, sort of dobbed along. I've had three roach. I've dobbed it down to the right. As long, again, as long as I could get, and I've had another cutler roach, so the bread rig's gone up, gone up the bank. Um, I've then gone on hard pellets on the bottom, 14 metres plus a dolly butt. Hooked one, got it in. Carp, about five pound. Um, I've then gone straight back in and hooked another one immediately, but that's come off, unfortunately. No more bites. So I've tried both sides, so I'm sort of excuse me, I've plumbed up um, 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Um, both the fish I hooked were at 10 o'clock, 14 metres and a dolly. Uh, no bites on the other line, apart from a couple of roach. Tried down the edge, sort of 14 metres long into sort of three foot of water. Um, haven't, haven't had a bite there, but the light is really bad, so it's quite difficult to see the float down there. But I have put a bit of pellet down there. I'm pinging some pellets down there. So we'll try that again in a bit. I've also tried short. Nothing. No bites. Um, so I've pinged, a, I've pinged a few 8 mils across. And I've just chucked, chucked a little bomb over the top. Uh, very, very difficult. Guy to my left's got one. Guy to his left's blanking. A little jack in the next peg's got two. Both on bomb. Bomb and pellet. Uh, and the guys to my right, don't think I've caught yet. So we've got one carp and a handful of roach. 
Um, and I'm just, as I said, having a little go on the on the bomb to see if I can uh, if I can snare one. <clears throat> I will go back to the to the long pole in a, in a bit. Just tap a few more sixes in. Hopefully something's uh, something's turned up. Just pinging a few sixes down that edge there. As I said, in about three foot. The water is extremely clear, so I don't think you're going to catch it any shallower than that. So I've come away from the bank. I'm probably, I don't know, eight, nine metres off the far bank. Um, just trickling in a few eight mils and see if I can... I can get one. Tough match so far, but still got three hours left, so hopefully uh, fortunes will change. We'll check in again soon. Cheers, guys. I've only got an hour left left of the match, and I've just took this fish. It's in my second bite of the day. It's either an absolute monster, or it's foul hooked. I can't do anything with it. Coming back for a late surge. I have hooked him. Well, he is in the mouth. In the corner of the mouth. Six pound, maybe. Maybe a few fish have turned up last hour. Can't really knock that. So I've tried everywhere in the peg, absolutely everywhere. And I've just literally just sat there like a gnome. Tapped some pellets in. And it's gone under. So I wonder if I can get some more. That puts me, that's two fish, puts me on. I don't know, maybe ten pound. Checking again soon. We've got 45 minutes of the match left. And I've hooked fish number three. I wonder if I've actually got a few fish turned up in the peg now. I'm still fishing banded pellet. Still same thing, just tapping in a few sixes and feeding a few sixes. Just sort of boring one on, should we say? Just got put, just got a spread bulk shot at the bottom. Four uh, B fourteen float, sixteen SLWG, zero point one three bottom. And um, seems to be a couple of fish have turned up, which is good. Got one as well. <sighs> 45 minutes left, see what, what I can uh, squeeze out, shall we say. Whoops. Just on the outside of the mouth. Cart number three, not bad at all. Sat there all day, nothing. Now I've got two in less than five minutes, if I can get it in. <clears throat> got three cart in the net. 
It's number four I've hooked. Crazy. So they have nothing all day. Just being slightly more positive with my bait. I mean, I've just trickled. Of, I was only trickling in sort of four or five pellets, and I've just sort of started trickling in sort of eight or ten. I don't think there's anything different than what I'm doing at all. Depth is the same, the rig's the same. I think it's purely just a few fish have moved in. Literally, that is it. No rhyme or reason behind it whatsoever. Struggling with this one. Oh, I should have been that time. Definitely should have had in that time. Go again. So we've got 22 minutes of the match left. I've got five carp now. Mad when I only had one all day. I'll just look to number six if I can get it in. mine then not so much not so lucky not so lucky that time maybe next time we'll get him I feel like I'm gonna lose him I'm not careful Beautiful fish. That like weren't coming out. This part of eight, nine pound. <sighs> See if we can squeeze a couple more in. Right, so that was that. That was uh, Timberlands. So, um, a really strange day. I've had one fish first put in, then I've lost one, then I've not caught a fish all day. Um, I've then sort of last hour and a half, I've gone in sort of to my right, uh, 40 and a half metres on the deck, just hard pellets, the same as I have been doing all day. Bang, 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 and had five carp. So I've ended up with six carp. I'm going to assume I've got something like 35 pound, but not sure. Um, five, yeah, six carp, it's got to be 35, but we'll see. We'll see. My estimations not, aren't normally that great. 
But uh, yeah, it turned out to be not a bad day. Um, I've beaten the guy to my left, I've beaten the guy to my right. Um, I don't think I've come anywhere, but I've, I've not disgraced myself because, as I said, it's fished very, very, very difficult all day. And um, yeah. Anyway, wait for the scalesman and we'll see, how, see what happens. Cheers, guys. Hey, that was that that was that Timberlands Sunday uh, 12 people on the match drew peg 10 I've had one carp first put in I thought here we go brilliant I can't get another bite I've hooked another one which come off I then can't literally can't get a bite all day I've tried bomb and ping I've tried long I've tried down the edge I've tried short I've tried everywhere um, hour and a half from the end I've gone back in on my original line, where I've basically been trying all day long. Um, I've put another five carp in the net and ended up with 36 pound 10. Um, this has put me third overall. Uh, little Jack, who had six carp a few pegs down, has done me by three ounces. Uh, and his old man has won the match with 53 pound on peg 16. So all in all, a very enjoyable day. Uh, third overall from nowhere, literally nowhere. So it just goes to show that, you know, you can never, never give in, keep trying, keep trying, and you never know they might turn up and thank God they did. Um, every 25 subscribers, as I mentioned before, I'll be giving away a load of pole floats. So all for, for all new subscribers, if you hit subscribe and then put a comment floats or put me in the draw. Um, and as I said, one set of floats goes out um to the random person that wins each for every 25 subscribers um that's not 25 sets of floats that's one person out of the 25 and then the next 25 one person so i hope you enjoyed the upload please don't forget to subscribe it's totally free um you just need a google account you just go on youtube watch the channel and hit subscribe totally free that's all i'm asking um i hope you're enjoying the uploads and i'll see you on the next one cheers guys speak soon